And welcome to Pennsylvania once again. A look at the colors awaiting us up there on this trail. Got some unfinished business today up in these woods. So not too long ago I went on a little adventure here. I'm currently at Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area here in uh, Lebanon, Lancaster County area here in Pennsylvania. And we went looking for some millstones. Of course the one we did find the one millstone because I showed that one in other videos as well. But I went looking for another one that I was told that was out here. One that was just half finished. And we never found that one. So, But the person who gave me the information about that one to begin with sent me another message. And informed me that I was on the wrong, the wrong mountain. Where we were earlier was the mountain across the road over by the millstone trail. But he told me I need to be on this one on the other side of the road. So that's where we are today. I'm, I'm going to be hiking up the uh, Valley View Trail. Now, I've been up here before, several times at least, but uh, never really quite looking for um, this millstone. So that's what we're looking for today as well. And I will talk a little bit again of why there would be a millstone up here. I mentioned that in the other video, but if you haven't watched that one, we'll talk about that. Anyway, I'm going to quit, quit yapping here, and we're going to head up this trail. It's going to be a beautiful hike anyway, up through these the woods, the, all, the fall foliage is beautiful, the leaves are falling down, it's beautiful. I do have the orange on today. Um, it is hunting season and I, I am on state game lands. And plus I'll probably be off trail, uh, rushing around looking for this millstone. So I'm just gonna play, play it a little bit safer today. I know I don't always wear orange, but depending on what activities I'm gonna be doing out here in the woods, I will. So, all right, let's get hiking. I'll turn it around, we can look at this beautiful scenery together. Yeah, there's plenty of color out here. Beautiful. Got the leaves falling as we're walking along as well. And last time I was on this trail, there had been an ice storm. I think it might have been last winter. And everything up here was coated with a layer of ice, all the leaves and or what leaves were left, the twigs and everything. It was like a magical uh, wonderland or something like that, I called it. It was beautiful. I mean, it's still beautiful today with all the colors. A lot of gold and yellows out there. And there's still a lot of green too. So the trail has brought us to the top of the ridge here. You can already see some nice sized rocks up here. I like that one over there. And we are, like I said, we're now on top of the ridge. You can see how the, the terrain drops on either side. So the Valley View Trail continues along this ridge for a little bit, and so will we. Um, but I think the rock outcropping he's talking about, the, the one viewer that gave me this information, is on this ridge. So we'll keep following this ridge, even if we have to go off trail. But I know up here, the horseshoe connects up here as well somewhere. So we shall see. And like I said, I've been up here before on this particular trail, the Valley View Trail. So I'm pretty sure that what we're looking for is not right along the trail here. I'm pretty sure we'll have to go off trail. So he said the this unfinished millstone is on the north side of the rock outcrop and the horseshoe trails to the south. Oh yeah, and he, he had mentioned there's a foundation up here. He mentioned that in his other video, his other video, his other comments as well about a foundation. And I th if he's talking about, if this is the mountain where, that the millstone is on, and I know what foundation he's talking about. I've made videos of that before. It's like an old chimney stack in an old spring house. I took my botany class there one time. So I filmed that place several times. So I'm pretty sure we're on the correct ridge this time. But we'll, but we'll find out. And just up here is why it is called the Valley View Trail. There's a view up here. I'm also seeing, as I'm walking along, every time I see like rock outcrop, I'm gonna be checking it out, looking around. But let's take a look at this view first. Yeah, when I was up here last time during an ice storm, you couldn't see anything from this view. But today we can. 
a little cloudy out there, but there's definitely some color. Let's see if we can play around with the zoom a little bit here. See the colors out there. Down in the valley. So back behind the view was this other large rock. I'm just, I don't know if this is the correct one. We're just gonna take a look at every one that's up here, I think, as we walk along this ridge. Looking for this millstone. Cause I don't think this is the one cause this is looking to the south, but I'm just gonna double check. Yep, nothing. Let me jump over here. This one, whoops. Yep, nothing over here to look at. Just a nice big rock. Of course, the reason there's a millstone up here, and same with the other mountain, is that they would use these rock outcrops to, they would carve millstones out of them, and then it was easy to roll the millstone down the mountain. All right, so we will continue on exploring the top of this ridge. And the Valley View Trail does follow the top of the ridge for some time here. So we won't have to go off trail yet. Of course, maybe there's a trail that follows the whole ridge. Sometimes there are like secondary trails. But yeah, look at all the, you know, I said before, but look at all the color. Great day to be out. Whether we find a millstone or not. All right, so we've come from that way, the Valley View Trail. You can see there's more rocks here. This is where the, this is the top of that ridge line. It's like a jumble of rocks, but I don't. This is none of these rocks are big enough to uh, carve millstones out of. There's a whole junction of trails here. The Valley View Trail goes back down, and there are two trails here, one and one here. Both of these are spurs that take you to the uh, Horseshoe Trail. That one takes you to the south uh yeah the south side of the ridge but we want to be I'll stay on top of the ridge so we're gonna follow this spur because you can see how we stay on top of the ridge and I can't say that I've ever been up this part I don't think I've ever been on this trail before I think I always took the Valley View Trail back down I know I see some rocks up ahead all right well Let's hope we find stuff up here. All right, so I am off trail now. Even that one trail is on, oops, thorns. That one trail is on kind of doesn't follow the top of the ridge. It's kind of what we want to do. Get over this branch here. All right. Yeah, more thorns. So you can see there's rock outcroppings up here. So I'm just gonna follow, follow the top of this ridge and keep my eyes on the north side here. Look for that millstone. And as you can see, there are plenty of rocks here. But I think, I remember he mentioned it was way at the top of the mountain. And we're not quite at the top, so maybe we've got to head up there yet. So we're just looking around. It would be nice, would be nice to have a picture, but uh, that's not always possible. All right. So yesterday I got interviewed and had some pictures taken for a, a local online newspaper, I guess you could call it, called uh, Leb, Leb Town, in reference to the town of Lebanon. And uh, one of the questions that was asked was, you know, why the name, you know, Wandering Woodsman? And I kind of think about that for a moment again, and it's kind of for moments like this, where I'm just, like right now I'm just wandering. I am following a ridge, but I'm not on a trail. I'm just wandering around on these jumbles of rocks looking for a millstone so that kind of wandering woodsman kind of describes what i do quite often just wander around sometimes that wandering has a purpose and sometimes it doesn't but like my little phrase there from lord of the rings not all who wander are lost just because you're wandering around the woods doesn't mean you're lost i mean it could be but uh all right Lots of rocks here, and the horseshoe trail is just down below us. So I'm thinking, 
and the rocks are getting bigger and we are near the very top of the mountain so we should hopefully be getting close I really would like to find this millstone it, uh, it's not a complete millstone I'm not sure if I mentioned that it's a uh, it was a half finished one one that was never finished like it's still stuck to the parent rock so that'd be cool to find all right Alright, well not a millstone, but I almost stepped on this little guy down here. We have ourselves a little box turtle. Quite a colorful one too. She doesn't want to be... Don't you want to be filmed? you camera shy. It's a nice little one. Look at the colors on that. Fit in right with the color of the leaves. You don't know if you want to be on these rocks, buddy. I know this is quite the place for a turtle. But, you know, I'm going to leave them where I found them because, you know, sometimes people move turtles. They, they tend to know where they're going. So I'll leave them right where I found them. Get a close-up look at the buddy. <laughs> All right. I'll take a few pictures and let them go. All right, so right there is where we found him. And right there is where we'll leave him. Maybe he likes scrambling around rocks, too. All right, bye, little buddy. Hey, do you know where that, uh, do you know where that millstone is that we're looking for? Anyway, I don't, I don't think he's the talkative type. So we'll keep on looking for it ourselves here. So from the directions that were given to me, I believe I'm in the right direction, in the right area. I mean, we are on top of the mountain here. And there is, well, all the rocks here are covered in this nasty, uh, weed. I think it's an invasive weed. Back here you can see all the rocks. Back there is where we found that turtle. I'm not seeing anything here yet. So, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna keep going. Let me turn around here. Because there's a power line here. But I do see rocks up over there yet, underneath the power line. So we'll keep, go up there some more yet. Yes, yeah, so like I said, we'll keep looking for a little bit more here. Of course, uh, his name is Brad, I think, once again, the viewer mentioned this was up here, because I think he was up here like 40 years ago, he said. So I don't, think, I don't know if things may have changed. Like, I don't know if these power lines were here 40 years ago. They could have been, but, you know, if, you know, if they put these in, because this is right next to this ridge, who knows, they may have uh, damaged things here, too. So I don't know, if, like I said, I don't know if this was here last time Brad was up here 40 years ago. This area is all kind of open here and overgrown, so we'll... We'll do what we can. It is a major outcrop here. All right, well, let's get looking a little bit more. I'm kind of starting to get to that point where I'm starting to lose hope again. Of course, Brad, if you're watching, as always, you can let me know if I'm in the right area. Pretty sure I am, but uh, anyway, I could be wrong. Yeah, you can see how rocky it is in this section. So that, who knows, maybe that millstone is over there somewhere. Of course, like I said, we are right next to the power lines. And this looks like a very uh, snaky area too. Looks like they did a lot of trimming. There's a lot of trees cut down here, which is kind of messing up our view a little bit. Well, not our view, but our search. But we will keep looking. This is a big outcrop here of rocks, so maybe this is the place he's talking about. I was just concerned because the power line is there, so maybe when they were putting the power line in, they may have moved some of these rocks over and uh, covered up what I'm looking for. All right, well, still no millstone, but I think I'm going to take a little break here. It looks like there's a nice little... We can get to that rock right there. Take a little break, have some water. Got a nice view. Looking down that way. Just on a little side note here, if you're someone that wants to give me directions to a place, you know, if you have something you want me to find or something like this, like this millstone, the best way to do it is to give me a set of coordinates off of Google Maps. And anybody can do it. You just, you know, if you just go to www.google you know, slash maps.com or just click on Google Maps from the Google homepage. Uh, when Google Maps comes up, a lot of times, a lot of times uh, it's in, oops, I'm being attacked by ladybugs. Uh, at the top left corner, there's like three little bars. And if you click that, 
a little window drops down on down the left side of your screen and there's different options you can click on and one is for a road map one says terrain and one says satellite of course the road map shows you just the road satellite image shows you obviously uh, all the you know the satellite images you can see all the trees and buildings and stuff that can be helpful as well if what you're looking for is out in the open like a set of ruins um, the, the, the terrain feature is pretty cool too it's kind of like a it's almost like a topographic map that has shading on it and you can clearly see where the mountains and the valleys are and that can be helpful too in finding a location and if you find where you think the thing is the ruin or the whatever it is if you take your mouse or your touchpad and you click on that location another little window pops up at the bottom that will give you a set of coordinates and those are the coordinates that I need and can use I can type those into Google Maps or type those into my GPS and they can take me to that spot so that's the best way to do it if you want me to find something um, anybody, like, anybody can use Google Maps like you just click on the screen where you think the thing is and give me that set of coordinates and that's the easiest way for me to find what it is you're looking for as long as you're pretty sure that's the spot, you know. Alright, I just want to throw it out there. Alright, so my little break was over. And I started searching again. I have to admit my uh, frustration levels were a little bit high. Um, this rock outcrop is pretty neat, but it's all, it's, all, it's all overgrown and difficult to see things. But then, I was kind of looking down over the edge there, just wondering, eh, do I want to continue? Going, do I want to go down there through the brush? And then I looked over. And I saw something off to my left. So let me show you what I was looking at and give you the exact pan when I looked over. And I think this might be what uh, Brad is talking about. Because it sure looks like a millstone. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I just got done eating lunch right there at that rock there. And I walked up this way just a little bit. And I was looking down through all this stuff. And this, this plant here, I think it's called Mile a Minute. It's an invasive plant. It like clings to you like crazy. It's got these little thorns on it and I was like man I hope I don't really want to go down there and all that and look through for you know millstone that's half buried in brush and stuff and I was like well I don't know maybe I'm up here so maybe I'll as well look so I just kind of was looking around panned over here and I was like whoa what is that right there there's a nice round feature over there so I believe that is what we're looking for so I'm gonna I'm almost, I gotta get off the rock I'm standing on, and then we'll walk over there together, I think. I'm pretty sure that what, that's what he's talking about. Maybe there's more out here, though, but we're gonna head over there. Alright, I'm off that rock now. I'm just gotta watch where I walk as I film. Like I said, there's... feels like there'd be snakes out here. I like snakes, but I don't want to step on one that could have caused me some issues, obviously. Oh, yeah, I mean... It's obviously not finished. I'm not sure if this is one he means or not, though. All right, let's, uh... I mean, that's definitely... It's definitely carved out. Okay. It's not as big as the other one in the other video. Let me stand up here. That's definitely a millstone. You can see it's... They never finished it the bottom part there all right yeah so here it is pretty sure this is what we're looking for right here so I, I can't be 100% sure that this is the one he was talking about there is some more material there and over on this side you can see it's even less finished carving out but I'm not sure it's kind of small too but I don't know if, of course I'm pretty sure Brad will be watching this video I'm not wonder for sure that's the one or not we are right underneath those electrical wires high tension wires we're not exactly on the north side of this ridge though. But where there's one, you know, maybe there's others around here. And they obviously didn't get the whole board out in the middle there either. That's pretty cool. I yeah, I just look I was getting right, pretty frustrated. I looked over and I was like, whoa, look at that. Alright. Let's you know now that I found this, I'm gonna have a little bit more of a look around, I think. Alright, so there are snakes up here. I just saw 
a big black snake. Because I couldn't get the camera up in time. Let's see. Just slithered right past here. Is he on the other side here? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, yeah, he wanted nothing to do with me. All right, where there's one, there's others. All right, well, the this, this snake was down there, but I'm going to make my way out of this kind of brushy mess here and make our way down into the woods there because there's our little buddy again. That is pretty awesome. You know, I don't know what date that is as someone was up here, but some time ago, some, some dude was up here. He never finished it. Not sure why. Things just shut down and didn't need it anymore, maybe. But took a lot of work to carve that one. Of course, the one I showed in the other video, that one had a big crack in it. That's why they didn't end up using that one. All right, so the horseshoe trail should be down those woods somewhere. Let's take one last look. Yeah, right there's our millstone. All right, so this is the horseshoe trail down here. And just off the horseshoe trail, there is this other trail. That takes you right up to where we were, the power line. And there's, it, once you get to the opening, there's two little trails that branch off. One takes you right to the millstone. Well, sort of, it's kind of overgrown. So there is a trail that takes you right up there. Would have been a little bit easier but I didn't realize that there was a trail right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back on the Horseshoe Trail and uh, get on that Valley View Trail again from here. To kind of enjoy the rest of my walk back here. So persistence does pay off at times. Like I said, I was ready to, I was just about ready to give up. Well, maybe not, I was maybe not just ready to give up, but soon and then, uh, like I said, I just looked over and right there it was. Wasn't expecting it to be like right next to me almost there. Just sitting there in the open. So once again, I, I'm assuming that's the one that Brad wanted me to find. If not, I guess maybe we'll make a return trip. You know, where there's one, there could easy, easily be another one somewhere around. But uh, we'll call it a win for today. I think I'm going to do some more filming here in this area though as well today. But... This will be it for this video. Uh, thanks for coming along. And uh, we finally found it. So anyway, I'll see you around.